Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I figured I would do a full face of products that I either have hit pan on or I'm just really trying to use them up for whatever reason. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I have a panning project with my friend Dewani on there. I will link her Instagram down below. She's really, really great and she puts up the most beautiful pictures on Instagram. Her pictures are always stunning. But her and I started a panning project back in March called Five Pans in 2020. And we just picked five products that we really wanted to focus on and use up by the end of the year. So some of these products are my Five Pans in 2020, my primer, foundation, concealer, bronzer, and blush. And the other ones are just ones that I either have hit pan on or I just wanna use up for whatever reason. You are interested in seeing how I got this look with all the products that I have hit pan on, then let's go ahead and get started. So we're actually surprisingly not going to start off with eyes today because I really don't have a eyeshadow palette or a single shadow or anything like that that I'm trying to pan or use up. I would love to have an eyeshadow palette that I've hit pan on, but sadly, that's just not the case. We'll just use our bronzer and blush and highlight for our eyes. So we're gonna start off with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Look at the dent in this beauty eye. I'm so excited. I really actually enjoy this primer a lot. I think it's really good. I think it's nice for like pore filling and all of that. Please don't mind all of this acne going on. I don't know what is happening. My face is like freaking out. I assume it's maskne because it's like all right here, but I really don't leave my house very much to where I wear my mask very often. So, I mean, that's gonna change because I don't know if I have to start work, but I don't know. Next for foundation, we're gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I do not use this as a concealer, I just use this as a foundation. But again, look how low it is. This is part of my five pans in 2020, so that's, you know, why it's so low. But I haven't shown it a lot of love here recently, and I need to. I really wanna finish this up before the end of the year. I'm actually kind of on the fence about this foundation. It's like every once in a while, it just doesn't look good. And then other times I'll use it and it looks perfect. And it's like, I love it. So I don't know. It's a little weird. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I do not. And because we didn't do our eyes first or anything like that, and we don't really have primer or anything going on them, I'm just going to go ahead and take my foundation on my eyes. I'll probably still put a little bit of concealer on there too. Draw it down my neck, cover up this zit on my neck. Why? Who does that? Who gets acne on their neck? Ugh. I don't understand my skin sometimes. So this is what the foundation looks like all blended out on my skin. It's supposed to be full coverage, but I don't know. For me, I feel like it's not insanely full coverage, but I still like the coverage. And then for concealer, we have the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. I have the shade Fair 10. I kind of don't think that this is a light enough shade to be considered fair. It's their lightest shade and it's still like a little dark on me. I actually got this sent to me through Influencer. I don't know if I would have picked this up and purchased it myself. It's definitely not my favorite concealer. The fact that it's a stick concealer is a little weird to me. I usually don't like stick foundation, so when they sent me a stick concealer, I was like, mm. but it's not too, too bad. It's like a little thicker, um, but it has decent coverage, which I do enjoy, and it does blend out pretty easily. I'm gonna go ahead and put some under the eyes. And I do like that you can just swipe it on and go, you know? So I feel like that definitely added a little bit more coverage where I needed it. Oh yeah, and I completely took the redness out of that. So for setting powder, I picked the Charlotte Tilbury Hairbrush Flawless Finish in One Fair. I really only picked this because it's really the only powder that I have that's pressed that I have hit pan in and all my loose powders I'm not really trying to use up. I actually recently used up quite a few loose powders and have rebought them so none of mine are really close to being done. Um, they're all pretty new. So I'm just going to take this. And we're just gonna set the rest of my face. This could be why I hit pan in it so quickly. <laughs> Cause I just like go ham. And this doesn't seem to be too drying, which is really nice. See, this powder kills me because like, I really do like how it looks on my skin. 
it's just expensive and goes quickly. Okay, now that our face is all nice and set, we're gonna move on to bronzer and I have the Maybelline City Bronzer. This is another one that's in my five pans in 2020. I have the shade 100, it's the lightest one. This is like my favorite bronzer ever. Look how much I've used of it. Look how big that pan is. But I don't really know why I'm trying to pan this so much because I know as soon as I get rid of it and use it all, I'm gonna buy it again because this bronzer is just so good on my skin tone. It doesn't matter how much I apply, I can go hard with this bronzer and I can add 17 pounds of it and it never gets powdery, it never gets too dark on my skin, it never gets patchy, it just blends in effortlessly. And I highly recommend, I feel like if someone asked me to pick one bronzer to use, out of my collection and I had to get rid of all of the other ones, I really honestly think this would be the one I would pick. Maybe not this one exactly, cause it's almost gone, but like, look at that. It's like blending effortlessly. It looks so good on my skin. It's not getting too dark, too patchy. And I mean, you can see it like I'm putting a lot. Then we're gonna take that and contour our nose a little bit. The only thing with it like being such a big pan right now, it's like hard to get to it. To like swirl on that absolute edge but that's okay that just means it's well loved and i've used a lot of it and the best part it's like ten dollars so it's super affordable if you've had your eye on this and you've been wanting to try it out i really really recommend it even if you haven't had your eye on it and been wanting to try it i still recommend it <laughs> now we're going to take it with a little eyeshadow brush and we're just going to put some into the crease nice and simple and easy run it along my lower lash line this is like one of my favorite things to do is just run bronzer in the crease for work. Normally I'll just run bronzer in the crease and I'll put like one eyeshadow on. But if I'm getting lazy or I'm just tired, I'll just put bronzer in the crease and put some mascara on and go. So that's the bronzer all blended out. Oh, I just love this stuff so much. <laughs> Next for blush, we're going to use the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Cheeky. Another one of my five pans in 2020. And I got a pretty good pan on it. This is a really hard blush to use up, I'm not going to lie. It is super powdery, like insanely powdery. I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, it fluffs up everywhere. And honestly, you have to build it. It's not one that like shows pigment right away. But I just, I love this shade. I think it's such a beautiful, like rosy shade. It goes with pretty much anything. And I like that I can go pretty hard with it and like put a lot on and it doesn't look like too much or too crazy, you know? We're gonna take that same brush we used earlier with the bronzer and um, I just kind of wiped it off. We're just gonna put this on my lid. Might not show up very much, but it'll just give us a little something something. So it didn't show up a ton, but it just gave a little something on my lids. I think this is like $6 and I highly recommend. Next up for highlight, we have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and I have the shade Blossom Glow. This is not one I'm trying to finish up. It's just, I've hit pan on it. If you can see, there's a little baby pan right here in the middle. I love this highlight so much, you guys. Like, look how blinding that is. Look at that. Um, You can see me from space. <laughs> it's only a couple dollars. I actually got mine for $2.50. <laughs> it was back when it was $5. It's now $6, but it was $5 and I got it half off at Ulta. Um, now I think it's $6, but honestly, even for $6, it's worth it. It is such a good highlight. I mean, you don't use a ton of highlight and I've hit paint on this. So that kind of tells you how much I love it and how often I use it. Take it on my inner corner too. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> and then we're going to put it on my brow bone highlight as well. Except for brows, I've been just really trying to use both of these guys up. It is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim, and I have the shade Medium Brown. And then also by the Beauty Crop, it's their BFF Full Coverage Brow Mascara. I got this in a kit with this and a pencil, and I actually already used the pencil up, and I really, really enjoyed it. So now I want to use the brow mascara. I don't know why they call it that. It's just a brow gel, but... I only have this much of the pencil left, so I'm really just trying to use it up. So we're just going to take it, fill in these eyebrows a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And 
And then I take this BFF mascara. I actually end up wiping a lot of it off because it is very intense and I don't need it to be that intense. I actually really loved using it with the pencil that came with it because it was a little less pigmented of a brow pencil. With this pencil, it's, it's a little much, but again, I'm just trying to use them both up. Just feather it through my brows. They give them a little bit more of a natural, I mean, that's not natural, but more natural look. I like the actual like brow hair look. Next up for mascara, I went ahead and curled my eyelashes and I'm not really trying to use this mascara up per se, but I'm just honestly trying to form my opinion on it. It's the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I know so many people who love this and it's like their holy grail and it makes their lashes look perfect and I just really am on the fence about it. It gets pretty clumpy on me. I was expecting to love it with my whole entire heart and I don't. I just wish I loved it like other people did. And I feel like every time I use it, it gets everywhere. Like, can you see it on my lid? I don't know if you can see. My eyes are closed, so I don't know if you can see. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I really want to like this. And I was hoping since it's, ugh, see, I even got it down here. Ugh, I was hoping since it's a tubing mascara, I would love it and that it would make my lashes look super long. And I'm just meh about it. For lips, we have the MAC Cosmetics lip Lipstick in the shade Brave. I'm just really trying to use this up because look at the little nub. It's so tiny. I love this lipstick and I just honestly need to use it up because it's almost gone. But look how easy that was. I just swiped it on a couple times. It looks beautiful. It looks like I really tried with my lips, but I didn't. I put it on in like five seconds. I didn't even edit any of that out. That's how quickly I put it on. I don't need a lip liner, which I really don't wear lip liners anyways very, very often. But yeah, I just, I think this shade is beautiful. I think it's comfortable. As for setting spray, we have the Tarte Cosmetics Stay Spray. I'm just honestly trying to use this up. I don't know if you can hear, I'm probably, I would, if I had to guess, I'm probably about halfway done. I like this in the sense that I like how it makes my makeup look and wear and all that, but it has a cucumber scent to it that I don't love. So again, I'm just trying to use it up and I'm not going to repurchase it, but we're going to use it today. I do really like the mister on it. It's very fine. And if you can see, it just gives my face like a subtle glow. I just wish it didn't smell like cucumbers. I just do not like that scent, unfortunately. And that was it, you guys. That was my full face of products that I have panned or I'm trying to use up. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.